Hilton was founded in the year 1919. They have 7,399 properties across 124 countries and territories under 22 brands they have within their portfolio. There are four unique Hilton credit cards and they're all offered through American Express. The Hilton Aspire card is touted to be the number one card from this list and one of the top credit cards in the entire industry, period. Recently, this card went through a refresh where there's updates to current features as well as the introduction of new features. And all of this though has come at an increase in the annual fee to $550. By the end of this video, you'll have all the info you need whether you're thinking of keeping the Hilton Aspire or thinking about adding it as a part of your credit card setup. The Hilton Honors Aspire card by American Express comes with a sign-up bonus of 180,000 Hilton points. Generally, these points are worth around half a penny a point, hence this bonus in cash would be worth around $900 in value. Spend Spending $6,000 in the first six months is how you'd be eligible to earn this bonus, which comes out to around a thousand bucks per month on average. Before this card's revamp, the sign-up bonus was generally around 150,000 Hilton points. Sign-up bonuses do change periodically, so just make sure you do your research before applying because American Express does have a once-in-a-lifetime rule when it comes to their sign-up bonuses. With this card, you'll be earning 14x points per dollar spent with Hilton. When booking with an airline directly or at amextravel.com or booking rental cards with select car companies, we'll be earning 7x points. We'll get the same 7x for dining spend, specifically for US restaurants, which includes both takeout as well as delivery. And everywhere else, we're looking at 3x points earned. Given each point is worth half a penny, earning 14x is like earning 7% cash back, and where we're earning 7x Hilton points per dollar spent, we're looking at 3.5% cash back. For the everything else category of 3x, it's like we're earning 1.5% cash back. Moving on to the benefits of this card, there's quite a few, yet I wouldn't expect anything less, especially with an annual fee that's at par with other premium credit cards in the market. The primary one that makes this card supremely famous is the fact that you get complimentary diamond status with Hilton by just holding the card and doing no further action. Diamond is the highest tier that Hilton has to offer, and I have a full video on the channel regarding everything you need to know about Hilton's hotel status, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. When your diamond status, each and every dollar you spend with Hilton earns you 20 points. And when we have the Aspire card, we're getting 14X. So together, you're getting 34X per dollar spent. In other words, 17% in cashback equivalent for every dollar spent with Hilton. Moving on with this card, you get an annual free reward night. If you have less than $30,000 of spend each calendar year, you're gonna get this free night regardless. But if you hit 30,000 or more, you'll get a second free night. And if you hit 60,000 or more, then you'll have a third free night. From there, we have $400 in Hilton resort specific credits. Specifically, we're looking at $200 each half of the year. They're divided into semi-annual credits where you get 200 bucks in the first half of the year and 200 bucks in the second half. Hilton resorts are different from Hilton hotels and I'll touch more in depth on this credit later on in the video. Similar to how this Hilton resort credit isn't given to you upfront in one lump sum, there's a $200 flight credit, which is a benefit of this card, which is given to us each and every quarter in increments of $50. This next benefit is super handy when it actually comes into use. It's not for everyone, but it's essentially $189 worth of value for a Clear Plus credit. With Clear, you're able to get through security at the airport that much faster versus the general security line when you're going through TSA. Generally speaking, it's always faster than going in the main line with everyone else. And at the same time, Clear has its service being rolled out to let's say sporting events or music events. So you have quicker access there as well. It's essentially an ID verification service. And I have seen advantages in different realms of life. For example, on social media nowadays, you gotta pay a monthly fee if you want that blue check mark or kind of the verified profile status. Yet, if you're on a platform like LinkedIn, for example, I don't need to pay an extra amount for LinkedIn premium. The clear benefit basically verifies the fact that, yes, this is me, I'm Lalit Devraj, and otherwise. Keeping it going, a part of the Hilton portfolio are a couple strong and reputable brands, such as the Waldorf Astoria, as well as the Conrad. If you book a two night minimum stay and you have the Aspire, you get a $100 Hilton on property credit. This next perk is the first time I've seen Amex do something like this, and it's essentially giving you a certain status tier with a rental car company. With National, you'll be getting the status tier of Emerald Executive Status. This benefit seems very specific, yet I do think that it gives an opportunity for someone like myself who hasn't tried National to know that, hey, I have X level of status with y'all, hence let's see what National is all about. And at the same time, if you're actually using National and 
you just happen to not be at that status tier level yet, then this card can give you that benefit that much faster. In a recent video with the refresh of a different American Express card, the Business Gold, there was a new introduction of the following feature. Finally, Amex gives us cell phone protection. And how it works is you're getting $800 per claim and you can do this two times within a 12 month rolling period. The deductible is $50 and it comes with a couple of stipulations of when you're eligible to actually take advantage of this feature. And the cherry on top, which we would expect with this caliber of card, is that there's no foreign transaction fees. Before we get into the deep dive, if you're already interested in applying for this card, I'll leave my referral link in the pinned comment down below as well as the description. Definitely supports the channel. Just make sure you get that optimal sign-up bonus for this card. Although this card comes with an annual fee of $550, it does come with $1,000 plus in credits. The question is, are we gonna get the max advertised amount? And I'll get into the mathematics of exactly what I value each and every credit later on in this video. $400 in Hilton Resort credit seems pretty great, at first that is. When you look at the total number of Hilton Resorts that exist, especially those that you may actually consider going to, that number may not be as big as you'd expect. Resorts are meant to be special slash unique and not everywhere locally slash in every small town along the way between two big cities. Point being, this credit is divvied up into the first half of the year and then again in the second half of the year. With 200 bucks in the first half and 200 in the second half, based on your travel schedule or your intended plans or otherwise, I would heed caution into valuing this credit as a full value each and every year, unless that's normal or kind of an expected value play from you getting this card. Just the way I travel, I may not go to a Hilton specific resort two times a year consistently each and every year in the long term to get full value of this credit. Hence, it's definitely going to be a hugely discounted value. Feel free to use your own true value in this framework to understand if the credits really make sense for you versus the annual fee for the Hilton Aspire. My valuation summary of each and every credit for my personal situation is as follows, and here are the following reasons of why. The $200 flight credit, I value it around 50 bucks, and the reason is if we're not using extraordinary ways to get the ticket fare compensated through this credit, then in general throughout the year, even if I'm using this credit for an upgrade, it's not something I would generally do. Hence, 50 bucks, I may get value throughout the year overall. At the time of recording, I'm currently spirit gold status, which means I don't need to pay anymore for seat selection. So that's another reason why I may not get the full value whatsoever from this credit. And yes, I can book the big front seats, which is like their first class, but that's not something I would do each and every time for sure if this credit wasn't involved. The $400 Hilton Resort credit, I personally value it at 25 bucks per year. And the reason is I may go, let's say one time in a year to a Hilton Resort, then at least out of that 200 bucks, even if I say, okay, hey, it's overpriced food or overpriced drink, even if we're getting 50% of that value, then that's at least 50 bucks. But in general, I'm not going to a Hilton Resort even once a year on average. Hence, 25 is really being gracious saying, maybe I would go to it once every one, two or three years. That's a big maybe and only in consideration because of this credit card. So if this wasn't in the picture, maybe this credit is absolutely $0 of value to me in general. The 189 clear plus credit, I would value it around 50 bucks in general. Yet in my situation, because I already have the Amex Platinum, which already comes with this same credit, it's basically a moot point in consideration. Essentially, it's worth $0. Further, there's a lot of cards in the industry that anyhow give you potential quicker access through security because they come with credits for TSA PreCheck or Global Entry. So just another point to consider. The free reward night each and every year that comes by just having this card, it really is gonna depend on what you would redeem that night for. The free reward night definitely has some variability. For me personally, I don't like to spend a lot of pure cash on hotel bookings. In other words, after $150, including taxes and fees, would be a part where I'm not really wanting to spend more than that for one night in a hotel. Given this, I would value that part for me at 150 bucks, yet maybe if you're comfortable spending 250 a night with taxes and fees, then that free reward night could be worth that much or even more. Spending 30,000 or 60,000 a year on this card to get a second or third free night wouldn't mathematically really make sense to me. So that wouldn't be a consideration I would have where I could get a second or third free night. I don't value this anymore because let's say you spend $30,000 in a calendar year to get a secondary free night or 60K for a tertiary free night. This is what I'm looking at mathematically. Spending $30,000 or $60,000 can get you a secondary or tertiary free night. And in general, let's say I did spend $30,000 to redeem for a hotel night that's worth 150 bucks. Essentially, if I'm spending 30K and I'm earning an extra Hilton point, then it's like I'm earning 30,000 Hilton points, which is kind of in that region of what you would get 150 bucks of value upon. 
In other words, 150 bucks is 15,000 pennies divided by 30,000 points, which is coming out to an average value of Hilton points being worth around half a penny. In simple English, you're basically getting an extra Hilton point where $30,000 to spend equals to 30,000 Hilton points, which equates to this 150 bucks, which means every dollar spent earns you an extra half percent cash back equivalent for Hilton spend, which isn't worth it for me to make. I would choose any other card to keep spending upon where it's a bigger advantage than just getting an extra half percent multiplier. That too being locked into one program. When it comes to diamond status, I value it personally at around 100 bucks because it can be worth even more than that depending on how you're using the status. At the same time, I do have Hilton Gold status through the Amex Platinum, so I would value this maybe towards $50 realistically, but just some food for thought because this is a great, great benefit. At the same time, if you're not really getting to use your diamond status in certain properties or certain locations across the world, then you may not get the most value from it. If you're an economy traveler all the time, yes, you'll get more points on your actual spend on your night rate, yet there may not be other advantages you would be able to get real advantage from. That doesn't mean spend more at certain properties just to get the status perks, yet it's definitely something to consider. National Rental Cars Emerald Executive Status, I value it at zero bucks, frankly, and the reason being I already have elite status with Hertz, and it's called President Circle Status, their highest tier. It's through Capital One's Venture X, one of their perks, and overall, I'm not too big on trying National just because of this perk, and it would really be a happenstance coincidence if I was to redeem this and have some value, and then maybe this number could change. The $100 on property credit it would be of great value yet i'm not really looking to book a two night minimum stay at the waldorf story or the conrad and so this credit wouldn't be something that i would be able to take advantage of organically if you've seen any of the previous videos on the channel or this is your first one you're probably a money nerd like myself for many years i used to be so deep into everything personal finance investing saving spending all the optimization when it comes to money and the biggest thing the belief that i had was that I knew so much that there would be no use in my life ever to talk to a financial advisor. Actually talking with a financial advisor was actually what I didn't know I needed to get to the next level. Having a different perspective on your personal situation is what I would consider priceless. Given this background situation and me getting to meet the team behind Money Pickle, which essentially is a service that connects individuals like you and me to financial advisors, there's a special partnership promo just for us. We get a 100% free 45 minute call with the financial advisor and the unique selling point of Money Pickle, which is why I'm even happy to talk about them on the channel, is that these financial advisors are supposed to prioritize you and me versus anything they have to sell from their side. This takes away the hesitation of after this 45 minute call, I'm gonna be upsold or told to enroll into something else or otherwise. So there's none of that involved. It really is about us focused first, period. Head to moneypickle.com slash lulith. Head to the calendar where you'll pick a date and time that works best for you. Provide detailed notes about your situation and your personal finance questions, topics, and concerns. Provide your contact information. You'll get an email and text appointment confirmation. And in the email are gonna be the Zoom link details for that date and time you chose to meet. One hour before your scheduled session, you'll get another text slash email reminder. And simply clicking that link will connect you to your free one-on-one -on -one 45 minute session with that financial advisor, certified financial planner, or a different type of finance professional. To book your session, you can use the link in the description below or in the pinned comment. Or if you're on their site and you're already in the middle of filling out their form, then you could just fill out my name, Lalith, L-A-L-I-T, in the how did you hear about us section. It definitely supports the channel, so I appreciate it in advance. Yet most importantly, I'm happy to partner with them for the free service that they're offering for us to get better insight around everything around our personal finance situation, whether in the short term or the long term. Both mathematically as well as my travel plan slash cadence that's upcoming, the Hilton Aspire really doesn't make sense for me right now, but it could make sense for you. When it comes to American Express, you can actually get to know whether or not you're gonna be approved for a credit card without having your score affected. So if you're interested, you could at least see, hey, would I be approved for the Hilton Aspire or any other type of American Express card? And with this $550 annual fee, the Amex Platinum actually has a $695 annual fee. And if that's something you wanna consider because it does come with Hilton Gold status as one of its perks, as well as other perks in general, check this video out over here. I'll see you there. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.